Good morning, guys. Yesterday was a bit of a short vlog, but we had a long way to go and we dealt with some bad weather. It was just a bad day and today's a much better day. The sun's already setting, but it's been a really good day. We got unloaded earlier today. I came here out of shower, did some laundry at uh, Whitewood, Indiana Flying J. Just bought 775 Canadian dollars worth of diesel fuel here. Now we're ready to rock and roll. We gotta go over to Heavily, Indiana. We're four hours, five hours away. We're not gonna make it quite there. I don't have quite enough hours to get there tonight, but we'll get close. And go the rest of the way tomorrow. Then we load up and we head up to Fort McMurray, Alberta. And that's a three day trip, 3,300 kilometers. Uh, that'd be just over 2,000 miles don't have quite enough hours to get there so my plan is to get into Canada it's gonna be two two days up to Canada we're gonna cross at North Portal Saskatchewan and then I'm gonna sit and reset my logbook over Sunday because it's how do I get out of here am I stuck I don't know how to get out of here I think this is the way I have no idea I'll figure it out Ramp on right, <laughs> Yeah, I'll get right on that, Mandy. I'll just get on that imaginary ramp. Do you live in Clown World or what? No, actually, I live in Clown World. Yeah, I know. Uh, should be used to that by now. Go well, this way. I was parked right here where that uh, truck is nosed in. That was my spot. I don't need it now, but. Uh, that's where I was parked while I showered and stuff. Oh, this is not the exit, and I have to wait for these kind people to park. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, and there's people behind me right away, so I can't back up. All right, well, we're going to sit here and wait. These American truck stops are beautiful, but uh, they get a little bit jam-packed at this time of day. Is he going to hit them? At least he's being careful. He can take his time. It's better to take your time than to rush it. Uh, we can wait. Don't want to hit anything. Oh my, his truck's all banged up. I don't know if you can see it from here or not. There's a truck backing in in front of this guy. His truck's already all banged up. Maybe I should be nervous about him backing in. I'm glad I'm not parked right there beside where he's backing in. Sometimes when a truck pulls into the parking lot and you take a look at the condition of it and you can tell it's just been banged up, used and abused, not maintained, and they want to pull in right beside you. They want to back right in beside you and you're sort of like, ha <laughs> ha, um, bad words, bad words. Well, he's good. He's just taking his time. So what was I talking about before? Yeah, we're gonna, it's Thursday today, so I'm gonna get as close as I can today. Friday, we're gonna load up. Uh, we have all day Friday to drive, all day Saturday to drive, then I'm gonna run out of hours shortly into Canada. I might be able to get up to the Regina or Moose Jaw area in Saskatchewan. And then I'll be able to recap hours, but uh, I wanna keep running after I deliver full steam. and. If I reset there on Sunday, then uh, one sec, we're just moving around here. I don't think anyone knows what's going on. And I want to pull forward yet, buddy. All right, well, you got to make up your mind, man. Why is this guy taking so long? Oh, chaos! I forgot what I was saying again. Yeah, moose jaw. If I do reset there on Sunday, I can still get to my delivery. They only want me there Tuesday, and it's a day's drive from there. You get it. You trust me, right? I know what I'm talking about, I think. At least then we'll have a, a full week ahead of us. My truck has actually got to go in and uh, get serviced. Uh, the electronics in here, I got to get my e-log replaced, because apparently my e-log system is outdated, so they want to install a new one. Lucky me. So that I want to get done, not this coming weekend, but I'll be on the road this weekend, but the next weekend I want to get that done. All right.
right, I think this is the exit. I think we found it, everybody. There's the pumps. I could have just gone right out, right out here. I thought this was the entrance. It might be. It's an exit now. I'm making it an exit. Look at me go. Tell me it's not an exit. I'll show you it is. I don't know how else to get out of this place. See, I thought there was a driveway there, but no, that's the blue beacon. Oh, that's why. See, it says truck entry here. But it doesn't say truck exit, but there's no other exit. So there's only an entrance. You can only get into the truck stop. You can't get out. Good to know. Good to know. Well, watch me go. I'll make an entrance and exit any day. I'm out of here. I've got places to be, things to do. Turn left Freight to haul. Mandy, quiet. Then take ramp ahead. Quiet, I know where I'm going. I'm gonna ask them for a for a load going further south. I wanna go south. I miss it down there. I wanna go see North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida, Georgia, Alabama. All the good states down there. Kentucky, Tennessee, Texas. Is Texas technically considered part of the South? I think it is, right? It is South. <laughs> but if you say California is South, that is definitely not the South. If you talk to a Californian and you're like, oh, you're from California, you're from the South. They will give you a pretty rotten look. And you can laugh at them because they're from California. <laughs> this way. All right, let's go. Let's get on the road. Take it. Woo! Man, I haven't seen it rain this hard since I've since I've been down south. When I used to go down there, it would rain like this all the time. This is good. This is good. This is a sure sign of summer. And you probably already noticed how green everything is down here in Indiana. It's on the way north, folks. It's coming. It's already here. It's moving north. Might be moving at a snail's pace, but Manitoba will turn green yet. It's almost June, and June is when everything turns green and blooms in Manitoba. There we go. See, that wasn't so bad. Got a nice free truck wash. Wonderful. I know it's dark already. It happens. Just got back into Illinois right now from Indiana, and this is the way station entering into the state. And it's a good way station. I really like this way station because this way station is closed. Those are the best kinds, the best ones. I don't know why they even open them. No one likes them when they're open. We all like it a lot better when you just keep them closed. Just like, saying, right over there. No need to even come in, just stay home, sleep in. Well, this is neat. Look at this, in the construction zone, they actually have LED lights, like a runway on the, on the road. That is awesome and smart. That is so cool. They should always do that wherever they can. 